I always like the phrase they use, you can't push a noodle. In other words, if a dog doesn't want to run, you're not going to really make it run. What sets a sled dog apart from your everyday household dog? It all comes down to the basic innate motivation to run. Say your sled dog would be in the NFL a wide receiver. You know, they're fast, they're light on their feet. A lab would be more like a defensive tackle. Generally speaking, most dogs you find on the Iditarod are Alaskan Huskies. They're bred specifically for performance rather than physical attributes. So to the untrained eye, these dogs might not look like much, but to a musher, they're super athletes. So what exactly is in those genes that makes them so fast? They have what we call hybrid vigor, and they've been crossed with various other breeds to try to give them more, more endurance, more speed. A lot of hound crosses in there, setter types. Uh, to give more uh, speed and stamina. Although it's rare, purebred teams aren't unheard of. Elizabeth Norris and her family have the oldest Siberian Husky kennel in the world. Siberians are known for their pulling abilities and dependability, but have a bad rap for being big and slow. I get asked a lot by people like, well, if you ever wanted to be competitive, would you switch to Alaskans? Um, and no, like I really, in, like I, I love the breed, like I adore these dogs. Still, most mushers stick with a tried and true Alaskan Husky. I'm very selective to what I'll breed into our breeding program, looking for certain traits with the dogs. They got a lot of drive, they've got good solid heads, they're mentally strong, they've got a good appetite, they digest their food well, and they have a quick recovery time. Solid feet and good coats, and that's kind of what I focused our breeding program on. And uh, managing that breeding program, to a dog that I feel is one of the best dogs in the world for racing right now. So there you have it, the ins and the outs of breeding a kennel of champions.